Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Emily Bowie. I'm a producer and an engineer here in Nashville, Tennessee. Today I've got a pretty exciting video to share with you how to import your own drum samples into Slate's Trigger 2. Here we go. Thanks so much for being here, friends. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know that you stopped by. So everybody loves to use drum samples. They help us in the creative process. They help us in the mixing process to make our drum hits a little bit fuller sounding or for just trying to achieve that certain type of sound that we just can't get with simply miking up a drum drum kit or importing in just plain drum loops. We can layer up these samples to help us achieve the sound that we're looking for. Now Slade's Trigger 2 is pretty popular these days and I believe it's actually on a rent to own basis now. I've had mine for several years and I use it a lot. But sometimes the samples that are included or that uh, have extension bundles with an extra purchase sometimes isn't in, in our budget or even the sound that we're looking for and if you're like me when you record a lot of things and you just sort of accumulate a lot of different drum samples that you like that you're used to that, that you know will work well into the songs that you're mixing so here is how you go about importing your own drum samples into slate triggers so that you can use those to trigger your drums to build that drum sound that you are trying to achieve but first if you haven't already please head on over to the website and download my brand new mixing course. In this course we are mixing from start to finish a retro style pop song that is becoming so popular these days. It's got four hours of me mixing the song from top to bottom. It's also got all of the recorded audio tracks plus my brand new mixing template that is not available alone by itself. Practice on these tracks, mix this song yourself, put it in your portfolio, let all your clients know that you know how to mix this style of music. All right, back to Trigger 2. So the first thing that you need to do is download this Trigger Instrument Editor. This will be available in your Slate account when you purchase Trigger. Now when you open this up, this will all be clear here and you will just select uh, wherever the file is that you have your drum samples. And for just watching this video, you can click on the link down in the description to download these exact drum samples for free. Here I have selected my drum samples. These are in wave form. This is how they were exported from when I made them and exported those. So don't forget to go to my website at fairmusic.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. And all you have to do is sign up with your email where it says subscribe for downloads and updates. Okay, so once you've got your drum samples all loaded in here, your wave file drum samples, any ones that you want to use. So let's do one together and I'll clear all of this out. So I need to import this sound. Also, you can click on these to see if they are in fact a drum sample. So we want to import our knock-in, our kick knock-in here. So all we do is slide that over. So we've got our sample in there. So now I want to save this as a TCI. I've got my folder selected where I want that to go. So I'll need to rename this. And hit save. Okay, so I've got a Pro Tools session up here so that I can make sure that all of this is being loaded into Trigger. So I want to go back up to my settings here. And under select base, you'll make sure that the file that you want to pull from those samples is selected. I click on that, open, and now under your browser, if you don't see the newest one, hit this refresh button and there it is. So we can double click on that to have it into our first slot there. And now 
when we play back our kick through our trigger plugin, we're able to hear our drum samples. So just to refresh things, let's do another one here. So I'm going to clear that. And I'm going to select the next kick that I have here. Save TCI. And this one is called Ropen. So we'll rename that so we can find our samples quickly. And go back over here, check our trigger, and just hit the refresh button. And there it is. But there you have it. That's how you can import your own drum samples into Slate Trigger 2, convert them to the TCI files, and import any ones that you want, any ones that you like. So thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you got something out of it. If you did find this helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to go to the website, fairairmusic.com. Link is in the description. Sign up with your email to receive all of these drum samples that I have made that I have used in many, many mixes. I love these samples. They're great. Uh, a lot of them are actually from real recorded drums. They work perfect for everything. There's, there's a big variety, kicks, snares, and toms. All right. Thanks so much for watching y'all. We'll talk soon.